you'll never hear the words of God. You'll hear them, but you won't remember. No, nope. you got to be born again of the nature of God. I'll just say it's simple. See, if I had a piece of paper and a pencil, I can avoid all this foolishness. John chapter 3. 1 through 7 verse. Hebrews 11. 1 through the 17 verse. 1 John, the first chapter, the ninth verse. You must say that out loud with God. Romans 10, 9 through the 12th verse. You must say that out loud with God and you. Always start your prayer in the holy name of Jesus. Always end it in the holy name of Jesus. God said, we're going back to John chapter 15. Twenty to the twenty-seventh verse. When you see that word A B I N D E, that means abide. Translating that from the Hebrew and the Greek tongue into English, that means L I B E, live in His word. And he said, if his word dwell in you, and you dwell in his word, which is the Holy Bible and the Holy Scripture, you can ask anything that you will, the Father, in Jesus' holy name. He'll do it. That's um, John 16, the 23rd verse. Jesus plainly says, don't ask me nothing. John chapter 16, the 23rd verse. He did all he gonna do. You see them old folks in the church jumping up and down, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus do not hear none of that. Only thing Jesus is here, in the holy name of Jesus, I thank you, holy heavenly Father. For my Holy Lord and Savior, Holy Lord Jesus, Holy Lord Jesus, I thank you. That's the only thing he hear. And he hear the sinner's prayer, which is Matthew chapter 6. The 33rd verse. The Lord's Prayer. Now what was it used when I speak it out of your mouth? From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. How can you have such great and glorious treasures hidden in earthly vessels? He's talking about human beings. And you've been around this person, lived next door to this person 40 years, and never asked them when you take your last breath, do you know if you're going to heaven or hell? You will be held accountable for that, too, on the day of judgment. Like he ran around with him all day, every day. Never asked him about Jesus Christ. His blood is on your hands. And then, you're going to see it. In John 15, John 16, and then I told you already, say how to pray. Always start in the name of Jesus, and always end in the name of Jesus. Somebody write you out a check. Say you can't sign their name, you got to sign your name. Even though I'm walking, I'm riding my bike, and I see dead men walking. God touched my heart. He got to take out that stony heart, and he puts a heart of flesh in you, and he circumcised your heart. Yeah. Your emotions, your will, and your soul will live forever. Your spirit never dies. What church you belong to? You have a church home? Good question. I am the church. You are the church too. That building is not no church. 